Hey everybody, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. In this video, we're going to cover a question that we get more and more often, and that is, what do I do after buying a used GDI car or truck? So what I need to explain up front is I'm a marketing professional. I've researched and written quite a bit of content around the topic of GDI and GDI problems. And for a handful of years now, I've been thinking, man, I don't know if I'd ever want to own a GDI vehicle with the intake valve problems that they can often end up having. So guess what? I just bought a used GDI truck. So in, we're not going to talk about what I would do if I owned one. I'm actually going to show you what I do after just buying this truck. All you need is two cans of seafoam motor treatment, two cans of seafoam spray, a screwdriver to get at the throttle body, and a helper. Let's get started. Now step one is to add seafoam motor treatment to my crankcase oil. Seafoam in our crankcases is always working to clean and liquefy heavier oil residues and deposits so they drain away when we change our oil. All you do is open the oil filler cap. This truck has an eight quart oil system, so I'm just gonna eyeball in half a can. Okay, now we're ready for step two. We're gonna have, take our remaining can and a half of seafoam and we're gonna add it to a very low tank of fuel. Adding seafoam to our fuel tanks is always working to clean fuel injector passageways. It's also a good idea to use a higher cleaning concentration when doing a seafoam spray treatment. Steps three and four are back-to-back seafoam -back spray treatments. Here's how you do it. Run the engine for at least six minutes to heat up the intake. Then shut off the engine and remove the intake boot from the throttle body. Adjust your hook guide and straw so it's pointing in front of the throttle body plate opening and place the boot back on the throttle body. With your helper ready to go, have them start the engine and hold the RPM at 2000 until the spray can is empty. When the entire can is empty, shut off the engine and let the chambers hot soak for 10 minutes. What I mean by hot soak is we just put a full can of seafoam spray through that upper engine so that high concentration went through there in about six minutes and now it's a lot of it is still soaking um, in the upper intake, the intake runners around the intake valves in the chamber area around compression rings, oil control rings. It's working to dissolve and reliquify that heavier carbon grime. So after the hot soak, I'm actually going to leave the straw on the throttle body. I'm going to drive the truck for about five minutes to burn off that residue. I'll come back here, we got the straw ready to go, and we'll be ready to do our, our second treatment. All right, we're all done with our second spray treatment. We got our boot back on, everything's back to normal. Here's the deal with seafoam spray. Check out this intake valve. This is a GDI intake valve with 6,000 miles on it. It already has a considerable amount of carbon residue built on the back of the valves. After one spray treatment, seafoam spray removed more than 80% of the carbon weight on the valve. Now check out this GDI engine diagram. Notice where the fuel injector is positioned inside the chamber. The only way to clean and reach the intake valves is by using an air intake cleaning treatment like seafoam spray. So there you have it. Remember that we have seafoam, it's still in the oil, working to clean the oil crankcase. We have a high concentration of seafoam in the fuel tank. It's going to continue to work to clean fuel injectors and to clean upper engine areas. And we just cut down a lot of intake valve carbon with two seafoam spray treatments. Now, my recommendation is, at least for me, I'm going to do a can treatment at least four times a year. I recommend the same to you. This is very simple. Anyone can do it. You can do it anywhere. We're in a dirt driveway of a farm. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.